Peace and blessings, brothers and sisters. I am happy to be here on this Sunday afternoon to deal with this dreadful problem that is afflicting our whole community, and it is a problem of addiction. And so to start off this lesson today, for Toma Nation and Brother Omari, I will be reading a poem, I Am Black Ice. The name of the poem is called Sin Addiction. Let me start off by saying we all suffer from addiction of some sort. In translation, this means that we all suffer from something in which we all need support. Who are your cohorts? Watch those who surround you. Your support system could either help free you or bound you. Loose them, Satan. Let my people go. Addiction usually begins with socializing hanging out with so-called friends. But the worst addiction is not substance abuse. The worst addiction is addiction to sin. At some point, we all must detox. Asking for help doesn't make you a punk. Get rid of that old leveling because a little leaven leavens the whole lump. Sin makes you no bigger than your trauma or triggers. I'm going to say that again. I said sin makes you no bigger than your trauma or your triggers. It literally ties your head behind your back. How you figure you can recover from dis-ease without getting rid of the other? Brother, you are deceiving yourself. Along with physical recovery, you need spiritual help. Aren't you tired of being played like Atari? Well, I'm sorry. But you really can't overcome addiction without the word of God. So listen to the teachings of Brother Obama. See, I come in the name of Jesus. Because there is power in that name. And the truth is, the devil can't win when he's playing God's game. Isn't it something that on your way to addiction, you have to go through throwing up headaches, diarrhea, dehydration, and fatigue and when you detox you you literally have to go through the same exact thing voices in your head telling you to end it all making you think that it's over it's like that old Tom and Jerry cartoon with the angel and the devil standing on your shoulders the devil knows that you are getting closer and closer so he knows how to play on your conscience but it's nothing but fear false evidence appearing real so don't give in to the nonsense see the healing process and recovery includes changing your thinking and your attitude like that phoenix who rolls from the ashes you can change your altitude let that same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus sometimes we have to be broken into pieces before we can have a breakthrough and last but not least what does this mean for you? Don't you understand that God allows you to go through what you go through so he can weaponize you? Who's better to reach for the drug addict than one who has been addicted? The alcoholic more than one who overcame it. You just might be the best candidate. And to let me be candid, as long as you're breathing, there is hope. Never give up. You still have work to do. Because if God could use a man like Paul who killed Christians, a man like David who slept with another man's wife and had her husband killed, Audio. if he could use a prostitute like Rahab to save his people, then God could use anybody. And that includes you too. Sin addiction. That's that piece. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would like to introduce my big brother, my mentor, a brother who has been fighting on the cause of truth and justice for over 35 years. Ladies and gentlemen, he is one half of the founder of the Temple of Mercy Association, and I am proud to bring to you one of the original, original men in black. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Brother Minister Omari.
thank you like ice. Beautiful, beautiful, powerful uh, 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 piece that you just delivered. You know, and I'm gonna tell the story. Like, <laughs> I just I, I contacted him at seven o'clock a.m. seven thirty a.m. Mm -hmm. yesterday morning, and asked him to come. You know, to perform a piece for us dealing with addiction, because my lecture is going to be based on addiction. And uh, he went to work. He didn't have a piece oh, wow. dealing with addiction. He went to work and wrote that piece that he just delivered to you guys yesterday morning. I think it took him maybe a couple hours. An hour and a half. An hour and a half. Oh, wow. To write that piece. So give it up once again for Black Eyed. <laughs>